Yeah, this is a, a terrible day for Fort Campbell. It's a terrible day for, for Clarksville. It's a terrible day for Trigg County. Uh, nine soldiers confirmed dead just in the last uh, half hour after that uh, crash last night. We are anticipating uh, some a news conference here in the next uh, minute, actually. I'm going to step out of the way because uh, we should be hearing from some of the leadership here with the U.S. Army as to uh, what happened last night that, that caused this crash between two Black Hawk hel helicopters. Um, and also the, the soldiers that were involved. Uh, we know nine lives were lost last night in this crash um, and, and just a, a terrible day for the military community. I see uh, Governor Andy Bashir is here and uh, we are anticipating here to uh, hear some answers as to what played out. We'll uh, send it back to I'm you Captain guys. Seven Rafford. In a few moments, Brigadier General John Lubis, spelled J-O-H-N, Lubis, L-U-B-A-S, Deputy Commander, 101st Airborne Division, will give a statement discussing the helicopter crash that occurred approximately 10 p.m. yesterday, 29 March 2023. Following Brigadier General Lupus's statement, Governor Bashir will provide remarks. Immediately following Governor Bashir's remarks, Brigadier General Lupus will take questions. During this press conference, names and details of the service members involved in the crash will not be released until next of kin have been notified. Details regarding the crash will not be discussed until a full investigation has been completed. During the question and answer period, if you have a question, please raise your hand. When called on, state your name and media outlet. Only one question per person. I will indicate when there is no more time for questions and conclude the press conference. Brigadier General Lewis. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being here. I would like to provide a summary of the training accident that occurred last night involving aircraft from the 101st Airborne Division. At approximately 10 p.m. last night, two of our Black Hawk helicopters were involved in a crash during a planned training flight in Cadiz, Kentucky that resulted in the death of all nine service members aboard the aircraft. On behalf of Major General McGee and Command Sergeant Major Knapp, who are currently deployed to Southeast Europe, I would like to express our deepest sympathies to the families of our fallen soldiers. We are currently in the process of notifying their families. Until these notifications are complete, we are unable to provide specific details about our soldiers. We appreciate your patience and respect of the process, and we will provide additional details once all family members are notified. I would like to thank the first responders from Trey County and the Kentucky State Police for the rapid and professional response and for their continued support. The Army has deployed an aircraft safety team from Fort Rucker, Alabama, who will arrive later today and will immediately initiate an investigation to help us understand what caused this crash in order to prevent accidents like this from happening again. This is a truly tragic loss for our families, our division, and Fort Campbell. And our number one priority is caring for the families and the soldiers within our Combat Aviation Brigade. Our entire Fort Campbell community is surging resources in support, and our thoughts and prayers are with these families and these soldiers during this difficult time. Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Bashir would like to deliver some short remarks. Good morning. Today is a tough and a tragic day for Kentucky, for the Fort Campbell, and for the 101st. The nine individuals we lost are children of God. They will be mourned and missed by their families, by their communities. We are blessed to live in the freest country in the history of planet Earth, but we must remember that that freedom relies on those who are willing to serve some of which pay the ultimate price. We know a lot about loss in Kentucky, especially these last three years. We're going to do what we always do. We're going to wrap our arms around these families, and we're going to be there with them, not just for the days, but the weeks and the months and the years to come. We're going to let them know that they are loved, they are special, and if they'll allow us to carry some of their grief We'll do that for as long as we can. 
My faith teaches me that while, while the body is mortal, the soul is eternal, and we will see them again. This morning I talked to Governor Bill Lee, who expressed his grief for this loss and his similar commitment to these families. There are no state lines when it comes to taking care of these families and helping them with their grief. Finally, I also want to thank the first responders who came from the entire region. Uh, they're on the ground immediately uh, after this incident doing everything that they could. The first responders included the Kentucky State Police, Trigg County Emergency Management, Trigg and Christian County Sheriff's Offices, Trigg and Marshall County Rescue Squads, East Golden Pond and other Trigg County Fire Departments, Trigg County EMS, and the Christian County Emergency Management. Listen, here in Kentucky and I know in Tennessee, we love Fort Campbell. We love all the people that live here and that work here. They are part of our community of who we are. Their loss today is our loss. And we're going to stand with both those that are here today and again. We're going to make sure that these families know that they are loved and that they are not alone. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm prepared to answer your questions. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This was a training progression, and specifically, they were flying a multi-ship formation, two ships under night vision goggles at night. Yes, sir. For folks unfamiliar with the training exercises, um, is it typical to have that many people on a helicopter? Was it five and four, or uh, how many were on each helicopter? And is it typical to have that many on a, on a helicopter in that sort of training exercise? Yes, sir. It was five and four, and that is fairly typical. There's a pilot, a co-pilot, a crew chief, and then often you'll have medics or other personnel uh, on the aircraft as well. Yes, ma'am. Um, we have the, a, a safety team coming from Fort Rucker, Alabama, who specialize in aircraft safety and specifically these investigations. We hope to have them on the ground sometime later today, uh, and they're bringing a very diverse and talented team that will look at every possible contributing factor, and I think um, in, in a short time we will have a much better understanding of what may have contributed to, the, to this accident. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, thank you. They were all based at Fort Campbell in the 101st Airborne Division. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, they were a variant of the Black Hawk. Um, in this specific, these specific aircraft were a medical evacuation aircraft. However, uh, we believe that they were, um, the accident occurred when they were doing flying, not deliberate medical evacu evacuation drills. Correct. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, at this point, we don't know. Uh, we, we're hopeful that when we get the team from Fort Rucker here and they're able to um, pull some of the data out of the onboard computers that will have a better understanding of exactly what happened. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Despite our losses, uh, we were lucky because they were able to land uh, in an open field across from a residential area. So thankfully there were no additional casualties or injuries um, as a result of the aircraft crash. Yes, sir. Jerry with ABC out of Nashville. Are these helicopters you talked about uh, getting data from them, are they equipped with like a black box like you hear these passenger planes go down or is it 
Yes, sir. They do have something very similar to the black boxes that, that we see on the larger aircraft, uh, and, and we're hopeful that that will provide quite a bit of information of what, what occurred. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We, we um, started next of kin notification early this morning. Uh, we have some family members that are in the local area that we were able to contact fairly quickly, but we also have some family members across the United States and a few outside of the United States. So that pro process is ongoing. Um, we're, we're doing everything we can to notify families as quickly as we can, but I don't have a good estimation on when the final notifications will occur. Yes, ma'am. Sir. Yeah, I don't have an actual response time, but I will tell you that we know that um, they responded incredibly quickly and um, immediately established communication with our leadership here at Fort Campbell. And then jointly, we were able to um, secure that location and get the right folks there to start um, helping um, at, at the site. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am, there were no transports off the crash site. Yes, sir. Um, how was how the post made aware of the crash? Were they, were they being monitored by radar? Was there radio communication, or was it people in the area that called out? Yes, we, we had a, other aircraft in the vicinity, so we were actually notified via multiple means. One was by the Trigg County um, first responders was, was one of the calls, and then we also had aircraft that were able to quickly move to that location uh, and actually stayed overhead for quite some time. We'll take two more questions. Yes, ma'am. Um, that I will have to follow up with you. I'm not sure of the actual date of the last accident, especially to this extent but I can follow up with you after this with an answer. Yes, ma'am. Um, going forward, how will you take extra safety precautions to make sure that this doesn't happen? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Everything we do, um, safety is integrated into this. And uh, for context, when we do any training, but especially aviation training, they do very, very detailed planning, very detailed rehearsals depending on the risk of the operation they're doing has different levels of approval from the command. Um, so we will always relook our safety precautions and our measures. Um, but this was a, like all of these training events, um, safety is a primary focus for us. Thank you. Thank you all for attending. This concludes the press conference. Um, you'll be able to find a press kit with the QR code you're provided. If you didn't get one, uh, I will provide one to you. Thank you.